Welcome to the Sogos Academy. Our business is to develop staff competency in the upstream hydrocarbon production process by training, either electronically or in conventional classroom training, and also by mentoring staff in their everyday work environment. Our area of expertise lays with the upstream hydrocarbon production system, from reservoir to sales point. Please join me in a short tour of our business. Here it all starts, the reservoir. Buried deep under the Earth's surface, trapped under a layer of impermeable rock, we find porous rock filled with a mixture of oil and gas, usually floating on water, which is a remnant of the sea in which the hydrocarbons were formed from marine life forms millions of years ago. If we follow the flow paths of the hydrocarbons, the next stop in our tour will be the drilling of the well. Wells can be drilled on land or offshore. Also, wells can be drilled vertically or deviated. Deviation enables us to tap the reservoirs from under inaccessible places. Offshore, the deviated wells allow us to drill multiple wells from a single platform. At surface, the flow from the wells needs to be controlled in a safe manner. As we are dealing with forces of nature, we have to condition these wellheads for various extreme conditions. Pressure, corrosion, erosion and involuntary damage by outside parties. Our producing wells are controlled by a series of valves that together form a typical construction known in our industry as the Christmas tree. Each valve in this Christmas tree has got its own specific function to keep the process safe and controllable. Usually, the flow of the hydrocarbons from a newly developed reservoir takes place under the pressure that is present in the reservoir itself. We call this free-flowing wells. Over time, the pressure in the reservoir may drop. This means that in oil wells, we have to add energy to the liquid stream to lift the liquids from the reservoir to the surface. We call this artificial lift. There are many types of artificial lift methods in our business. In principle, there are two ways to aid the vertical flow of liquids. By introducing a pump down hole in the well, or by reducing the weight of the vertical liquid column. The flow from the well is commingled with that of other wells in a gathering station. The wells are here connected to a manifold that allow us to direct flows to the various treatment processes. From the manifold, the hydrocarbons will first undergo a rough separation into the two main components, gas and oil. Both component streams will still contain too many impurities to be sold as usable gas or crude oil and will therefore have to be further treated. Let's consider the natural gas treatment first. From the separation, the gas is dried and non-hydrocarbon gases are removed. Finally, the gas is brought to its contractual pressure and calorific quality for sales. The liquids follow a similar treatment process as the gas. Water will be removed as will the impurities. From the separation, the oil undergoes further treatment to get the crude oil as clean as technically possible. Water is removed, purified and injected in special disposal wells. Finally, the oil is stored in a terminal for further distribution to refineries. Through our areas of expertise, we have shown you how we produce natural gas and crude oil from the reservoir till the sales point. All our courses are modular built to meet your specific learning objectives. We hope you enjoyed our short tour through the upstream hydrocarbon production industry. We would be glad to assist you with advice, training and mentoring, all aiming at improving the competence of your personnel in all ranks of your company. Please visit our website or contact us by email or telephone. Thank you for watching.